Hey YouTube people, this is Glozell once again and I am talking to a fascinating author. What's your name? My name is Suzanne McQueen. Suzanne McQueen. Now mm -hmm. what is that? Now tell me the question you asked me when you just came up here. My question was, um, I'm surveying on two different titles for my book mm -hmm. because I'm writing about the uh, four week female cycle. And what I do is I break down the approximate 28 days into four easy manageable weeks that I identify with the seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer. Now how did you even come up with this concept? You know, I was tracking my own cycle about 10 years ago and it just, I, I swear, the whole thing just looked like that and I um, began to start tracking in that way. I'd start planning things around these, um, sort of the hormonal energies of uh, what was happening for each particular week. So. Um, how and do you I feel found that it very is predictable. Very what, predictable. How do you feel it's beneficial to women to read your books or to learn how the cycle with the moon? Because how? I found, you know, after working with women for the past 30 years, I've just found that um, women really do have a lot of ups and downs and are not really sure why. We've gotten so far away from our own natural rhythm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so um, before artificial lighting, women used to cycle with the moon. When it was a new moon, women would actually start their periods. And they'd all cycle together. Sometimes they'd go off into a certain lodge and things like that. But they were, you know, very in tune with their own natural rhythm. We are so busy, you know, going 24-7 all the time that we're not really in tune with mm -hmm. what our hormones are actually doing energetically. And so, um, uh, for our libidos, for our wow. energy, our physical energy, and there's just certain times when we're more inward, and there's more times when we're more extroverted. Each woman, and it's up to each woman to tap into that, but I give a system for tapping into yourself and really getting in touch for making better personal decisions, better relationship decisions, oh. and I found this is a system that guys totally get. When I really? explain it to them, they get it for the first time ever. And so it takes the mystery out for them. And oh, So they can go, oh, okay, it's going to be a full moon. So let me stay away from No, the full moon or, is a good thing. Oh, okay. The full moon oh, is get some very today. So let me go, okay, okay. the full moon, okay. Exactly. She's very be receptive, very oh, okay. receptive on the full moon, but, but inward on the new moon. But, so your background, what makes you, I mean, is this something just you study on your own or you have... I did, but I've been working with women for the past 30 years. I started out as a hairdresser, I was in the spa industry, okay. I had a large day spa, worked with women okay. all along, and just really discovered there were certain times when they would just not be feeling well, you know, and sort of on a consistent basis. Really? And so then, uh, and I found myself uh, sort of questioning some of the decisions I was making, even though my vision for my business was really sharp and that kind of thing. But I found myself, you know, not being as consistent as I would like, which really bugged me because I don't like that image for women. So um, I started tracking and I just really discovered wow. this this natural rhythm that I had. And once I really tapped into that, I was able to really sort of predict and plan. And uh, uh, for instance, today I'm able to be here. I know where I'm at in my cycle. and. Um, I'm able to uh, just up and think, nope, okay, um, let's get a little bit more focused today. Okay. It might just take a little bit more and not be thinking, why am I so out of it today? Or, you know, other days, you know, I'm just full of energy and, and uh, creativity, and other days I'm just not quite so much. So it helps me in how I'm eating, what I choose to okay. eat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can really go for, you know, uh, sort of party foods and other days I other weeks I need to eat really cleanly now do you feel that there are any have you talked to any doctors that are like okay I don't know about this or this is great because I do find out that sometimes doctors really don't know you know they only know medical stuff that's right and mm -hmm. there's so many things that can be beneficial health wise and mm -hmm. disease wise that have nothing to do with you know traditional medicine so. I am I, I it's just really time for the medical profession to really tap in to uh, what's going on with women, not mm -hmm. in a sexist way, right. and not in a stereotypical way, mm -hmm. but in a way that, uh, you know, they didn't even discover that women um, react to heart attacks, onset of heart attacks, differently than men, than just, right. than just recently, because they were not researching women's bodies, they were right. researching men's bodies, and sort of applying it to women's bodies. That's but true. we do have, we've got different bodies, and that needs to be respected, and we won't have that, uh, we won't have the full equality and that kind of thing until we're really getting the goods that we need. Women live longer, yes. so we really need yeah. to be checking in. We have this natural rhythm, and once you hit menopause, women continue to sort of, you know, hold in that natural rhythm and, and sort of continue on naturally with that. Do you have a website that people can go to or It's under number? construction, but it's called hormonalbliss.com. Hormonalbliss.com. Mm -hmm. And so right now you're shopping the names of the books? I'm shopping the names because, okay. uh, you know, it's a very tricky subject for women. Right. And uh, different words that I've used, um, 
uh, the, the first title was the Four Seasons of the Female Cycle, you know, because okay. that's, that's really what it is. But, you know, uh, that was a little confusing, and so I'm just trying to come up with the right title that'll um, okay, so have Susan women like it. McQueen. Suzanne. Suzanne McQueen. Suzanne. I want to make sure I get your name. Yep. Suzanne McQueen. All righty then. I thank you so much for telling me that. I'm really interested in reading a book. Okay, help and, me out. And I will give a free 10-page um, uh, ebook download uh, man guide for, yes. for your guy, yes. so that he well, just can see it and. How about and actually, to get a guy? Like that's, well, well, you know or what? Keep him when I get him, huh? Yeah, that's right. When you keep him when you get him, and because they feel more supportive and supporting you, they get the concept. And you know, the bottom line is. You know, if they really want their sexual life to go well, then they really need to understand, you know, what's going on. Okay. All right. That sounds good. I can't think of any other questions right now. You're beautiful. Oh. You're beautiful. She's beautiful. <laughs> Is there any other thing that people ask you? Because I don't want to miss out on anything right now. I'm just, you know, asking questions on the top of my head because I find right. it fascinating. But, um, um, you pretty much covered it. I would just book. say that it's really up to. I can't. I can't cure you. If you read my book, um, I will give you guidance for how to look at the different weeks so that you start tapping into yourself. I have a, a case study of volunteers going right now that each one are, are, are tracking their cycles, and that's really key so that you can be the master of your own body when All you right. go to the doctor or whatever. You can actually give more information and really be in charge of your own health. Well, thank you so very much. I, I thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I really okay. appreciate it. Hormonal Bliss, over and out. <laughs>